Actually, really great day. Uh, woke up early, got out of bed, made it up one pass by about 10:30. It's actually surprisingly easy pass. Uh, gravel underfoot rather than um, any big rocks, so it was easy walking. Um, good view, and then unlike other passes, it had more of a, uh, a ridge line trail before descending, which was quite nice. Uh, so that was you know, four and a half, five miles to get up there this morning, but not a problem at all. Way down was beautiful. Um, entered back into really dense forest, which is nice. I feel like we haven't seen that in a little while. Um, saw some deer there. Uh, passed through a couple of meadows, including the Death Meadow, which was just stunning. Rivers running through it. Um, definitely worth a stop and stare. We were threatened a little again by thunderstorms, and we still are. The sky is gray. Um, there's thunder off in the distance constantly. It's been this way for about an hour and a half. Um, but we're set up tent here at uh, Center Creek. Just crossed the, the creek and set up on the other side. So we're actually just looking forward to Forrester now. So we've made our way up a decent amount. Um, I, I still, we're going to try to get er, up early in the morning. We still have uh, about 2,000 feet in elevation where we're above the tree line. Uh, that's always a bit unpleasant. But do it early enough and it should be okay. We've heard uh, kind of a mixed bag of, of things about Forrester. The vast majority is that it is the hardest pass. Um, Thankfully, none of the passes have been that hard so far. A um, couple that we just talked to said that it was actually not that bad of a pass. So, we'll do it early. One step in front of the other and we'll get to the top. Shouldn't be too, too bad. Um, and hopefully we have a dry night. Otherwise, talk to you tomorrow. We're almost, uh, Forrester's our last pass. Number 10. So, uh... Not too much more to go, unfortunately. All right, talk to you tomorrow.